Mm. Eating oats with quinoa. Great combination. All you need to do when the oats are cooking, sprinkle the quinoa, cook at the same time. Nice texture, nice flavor to your oats in the morning or oatmeal. This is a video tutorial on how to straighten photos in Photoshop 5. I'm using a Mac right now and I have these images taken in RAW. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my image up in the RAW view. I'm going to find an image here where the horizon line is um, definitely crooked. You're going to go up to the top of the toolbar here and click the straighten tool. You can also hit the letter A on the keyboard which will do the same thing. It's going to bring us this kind of triangle looking thing and it's a little bit confusing to know where to start. So to make that even easier, you hit the cap locks key. It's going to make it a very you can this is what it looks like and it's like, you know, where do you start with that thing? Hit the cap locks key. It's going to make a very precise crosshair. And now let me zoom out of my screen here. I'm going to click on the horizon, but which I know I want to be straight, and then bring it over to the other side. Right about there, I'm going to release, and now Photoshop is going to automatically crop the photo for me. It's going to fit in as much of the picture as possible, and then all I need to do from here is just hit the Enter key, and it's going to automatically rotate the image. And then from here, I could go and edit it further or just click and uh, save the image. So I'm going to run through all of my pictures in my list here. Let's see if I'll do one more example. Let's find something that is, let's do something dramatic. I wonder if we could do this one. Well, let's try it. So I'm going to hit the letter A to get my crosshairs. And I guess I could try to make this uh, the water line, maybe make the picture look like it was straight. Click that, rotate it, and um, yeah, clean the image up a little bit. I'm not sure. I can hit Command Z to go back. I don't know which one I like. So if you hold Command and hit Z on a Mac, it's going to toggle back and forth. But to do to go all the way back, you hold Option, Command, and Z say if we made like five or six changes command Z is only going to switch between change number five and change number four five four five four but if I hold option command Z it's going to go back 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 and you can go back to your edits alright that's the end of this video